Well, hi there, everybody. Good Friday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. We have a cold front that's making its way through the area this morning in an area of low pressure just east of McCook. You have breezy south and southeast winds out ahead of it. The winds, they're not too bad yet behind that front. We're getting some clearing here this morning. I'm going to draw this in real quick if I can here. Oh, it's not going to let me, so I can't, I guess. But there is some clearing that's happening around that frontal boundary this morning. But there's also a band of clouds to the north and west behind that front. Now winds are going to turn breezy once that front passes through at 10 to 20 miles per hour. We'll get some partial clearing, but then here come the clouds later on in the afternoon moving in from the northwest, along with maybe some trace amounts of moisture, very light rain or snow, depending on the temperature profile, late this afternoon, continuing to early evening. Later in the night, those will quickly clear out, though, and as that clears out, skies will drop, and, or temperatures will drop. It's going to be a cold night ahead of us here. One thing we will have to watch late tonight and tomorrow morning is the potential for some patchy fog to develop. Some of that may stick around tomorrow morning, otherwise plenty of sunshine expected. And temperatures similar to, if not slightly warmer than today, tomorrow, but really the real warm up begins starting on Sunday. So highs today, still chilliest over the snow packed areas, which are south central Nebraska towards east central Nebraska in the upper 30s to near 40. Other areas will warm up into the low and mid 40s today where there's very little, if any, snow on the ground. Settling in for a cold evening, and that's certainly the case out in Piscataway, New Jersey. The Huskers taking on Rutgers 6.30 Central Time kickoff at 7.30 Eastern Time. The skies are clear. Of course, they're cleaning off of the, uh, the field as we speak. In fact, I'll show you the, sky, the field. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm actually going to show what the field conditions looked like uh, yesterday morning after the snow had gotten done. That's what the field looked like. It's, it's, it's SHI Stadium there at, at Rutgers University. And it was covered in snow. They will hopefully clear off the fields in time for the game. Of course, I'm sure they will. Although it would be kind of fun to watch a game with a field covered in snow. But anyway, uh, temperatures are going to be cold and the winds will be light out of the northwest. We will get cold tonight as well, dropping back into the teens with a few low 20s in northern Kansas. So it will get cold, but it may take a little longer once the skies clear up later on tonight. Highs tomorrow. Back into the 30s and 40s, your coldest temperatures again over snow-covered areas around the Tri-Cities and then eastward, and also eastern Nebraska is just going to be a little colder anyway. You go to the west, 40s, even the upper 40s around North Platte and Ogallala, maybe near 50 in Valentine. Tomorrow night, not as cold. Saturday night to Sunday morning, 20s for overnight lows. And then Sunday is kind of the beginning of some warmer air that's going to move in. Again, snow cover may still influence the temperatures in the Tri-Cities and eastward, so temperatures low to mid-40s there. But where there's no snow on the ground, we're talking upper 40s and lower 50s for high temperatures, and it gets even warmer early next week. So uh, getting better. The weekend, lots of sunshine. How about Monday and Tuesday? 50 on Monday. Those areas without snow on the ground, a little warmer. And then oh, we're going to go with mid-50s on Tuesday. Hopefully by that point, most of the snow will be gone. If it is, we may even get up around 55, 56 degrees. Some models have some lower 60s up in north-central Nebraska around Valentine, Ainsworth, O'Neill. It could get above 60 degrees on Tuesday. Then comes the cold front, Tuesday night. Not much moisture with that. I think northern Nebraska would have the best chance right now. I just went with a slight chance after midnight Tuesday night of some light snow. Wednesday is going to be cold and windy. Temperatures will be in the uh, low 30s, and some of you will be in the upper 20s up north. And the uh, winds are going to be at 10, 20 to 30 miles per hour. We're going to see some gusts approaching 40 miles per hour on Wednesday. It's going to be a windy day. And then as the winds die down and the skies clear up, we're looking at uh, settling into cold temperatures for Wednesday night into Thursday, Christmas Eve there. Now, there still, still are some question marks with how cold we'll be on Thursday. Some models are even colder than this. Others aren't quite that cold. So I'm kind of playing middle ground right now. The big question beyond that is how much can we warm up for Christmas Day? Some models begin to warm it back up on Christmas Day, including this one I'm showing you here, which gets us back to 41 degrees on Christmas. Others aren't quite as generous with the warmer air moving in. I'm hoping we can get a couple of days of some slightly milder air for the weekend after Christmas, getting us back in the 40s, of course. A lot of families still gather even just after Christmas, the weekend after, so uh, hopefully the, the weather should not spoil that too much. And as for the chances of a white Christmas right now, they are very, very slim with very little moisture, like you said, between now and Christmas Eve, the chances are not looking that great as of right now. The other thing I wanted to point out real quick on the seven day, Monday night, now it's the first day of winter, the winter solstice, Monday evening just after sundown, and if you've looked towards the uh, setting sun after the sun goes down in the evenings the last few nights, you'll notice bright Jupiter there and then not quite as bright Saturn, they're getting closer and closer together. Well, Monday's a big day because that will be the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. Now, they aren't going to be right next to each other. They're still millions of miles away, but from our perspective, they will be lined up 
almost perfectly in the sky. And what that's going to do is that's going to make it look uh, like a bright star. This is what happened. The Star of Bethlehem, the Christmas story, that was the conjunction of planets, Jupiter and Saturn. And so we're going to see a very bright star in the sky, and it hasn't been this bright in over 800 years. And the good news is our skies will be clear. Now, you don't have a lot of time in the evening because the, the Jupiter and Saturn will set right after the sun sets. So say about 5.30 is about your best chance for viewing that. You'll want to check that out. Anyway, I have to let you go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all again on Monday morning, the first day of the winter solstice of winter there. And until then, enjoy your weekend. We'll talk to you all later. God bless. Bye.